We almost had a whole conversation without devolving into an argument about Julian. I'm not arguing, I'm just saying. Ah, that you hate him, I know. No, I'm just... I want you to be happy. Thank you. But you're not gonna be if you insist on marrying Julian. You can't go through life with your eyes closed, Alexis. Let's not forget, he murdered Duke Lavery. I'm not gonna forget that, and you, if you're half the woman that I think you are, you're not gonna either. It is always a pleasure. Love you. Hey, girls. Everything good? Uh, yep, all good. I'm ready to go. Good. All right, well, I'll see you later, babe. Oh, okay. yes, good night. All right. Love you. you say goodbye to your father, and I'll meet you at the valet. It's right behind you. Okay. Thank you. I've got this. Don't worry. That's impossible, but remember the three rules. Okay? Ginger ale to go, please. Coming up. Thanks, man. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey, look, I didn't adequately thank you for getting that eyewitness to come forward. Oh, there's no need. I'm just glad that Danny won't have to visit his father in Pentonville. Yeah, I tell you what, his father's glad too, trust me. <sighs> look, about earlier with Elizabeth and the room, it, Jake had another scare. So Cam and Aiden were staying with Elizabeth's grandmother, and I wanted Liz and Jake to stay here until I know it's safe. Yeah, you know, there's there's no need to explain. Although I do, I, I appreciate the explanation. Yeah, well, I felt I should. Jake and I were having a little chat, and uh, we talked about you, actually. And I told him that you are someone who searches for the truth. Oh, that's what funny. you've done for me. <laughs> <laughs> twice, and I am very grateful. You know, it's funny. I, I wasn't always interested in the truth. Neither one.